Hi, my name's Anthony Ward and welcome to this tutorial for 3D World Magazine. What we're going to look at over the next series of videos is more of an introduction to end cloth and end hair. Now, when talking about dynamic systems in Maya or any other application for that matter, it can be quite scary. To somebody who's never used them before, the thought of suddenly playing around with these systems can be quite intimidating. Now what I hope to do with this tutorial is show you that it's quite easy to set up a cloth simulation and, and also hair. It's quite simple to control these and get pretty good results quite quickly. So at the end of this tutorial I'm hoping that you'll learn how to use end cloth, how to use end hair. You've got a good understanding of the basics so you can then go on and apply them to anything you want in the future and also take what you've learned and expand upon it and start exploring some of the more advanced elements associated with these systems. So where do we begin? Well we have a scene already set up for us here. You can see we have our super heroine character who uh, I think we're going to be calling Dinah Girl. Um, the scene's set up, she's modelled, there's lighting in there so let's say she's pretty much ready to render. But as you can see, the cape model is very stiff. We want to add that, add something to that to make it a lot more dynamic. She's also bald, so we need to also create some hair for her. Now, we have the cape mesh already built. So we're already off to a good start with creating our end cloth. I've already gone in and added in a few creases and folds here and there. I've also attached it to this uh, clasp here. Well, not physically attached it, but made sure that the mesh goes behind it, just so it looks correct. I've also followed the mesh over the shoulders. Again, just to give us a bit of a head start. We know this is going to be a static image. She's not going to be moving around and animating in the scene. So we can cheat a little bit and sort of skip over some steps. And like I said, just give us a head start. Save us a little bit of work. Now for the hair, we could select the body and assign the hair to the body. But then what's going to happen is she's going to have hair growing out of everywhere. What we need to do is dictate exactly where we want the hair to grow from. Now, just like we have with the uh, cape, we need a model which is going to dictate this area. If I just switch to X-ray, we look inside, just inside the head here, we have another model hidden away, and that's just a scalp mesh. If I move that up, turn off X-ray, as we can see, again, it's quite a simple mesh. All it is is a duplicate of the body with just everything that we don't need deleted. So all we've done is marked out where we want the hair to grow from. What I've done then is just dropped it back inside, just so it rests just inside the head itself. This way it's hidden, it won't get rendered, and the hair will actually look like it's growing out of this uh, well, out of her head. So we have our two meshes set up and we're pretty much ready to go. So let's start working now and we will look first at adding the cloth. 